Hi everybody, I'm so glad you can join me again in the world of RL Craft. Or at least that's what I would have said before everything became completely fricked. My PC has this really cool motherboard issue and it's making my fancy camera not work right now, so that's why you're getting this today instead. But that's okay, it's back to the roots with this series anyway, right? Speaking of roots, you ever heard of a Root Riot? It's an in-game event, and guess what? It just started a couple seconds ago while I was peacefully minding my own business, doing some off-camera work that I was very excited to tell you about. And now, the entire village is under attack, and unless I get out of here and unload the chunks, I think everything's just gonna be wiped out. So, I know what I've gotta do. Mad dash to the waystone. In three, two, one. Go! You can see the Iron Golem is getting fricked up by a flying root thing right now. They're all over the place. I'm being chased by a frickin' frick! Go, go, go! Get out of here! Get out, get out! Go, 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 go! Even if I could, in theory... Okay, okay, oh jeez, oh god, oh god, okay, get out of here, frickin' ostriching! Even if, in theory, I could take on everything that's in the village, I wouldn't be able to save all the villagers and the Iron Golems and all that stuff, so I think it's just better that I get out let the whole thing play out. Oh, I should probably not get killed by a uh, Gru here. And um, oh, I, I didn't bring a water bucket, so that's cool. I'm gonna dig down further so I don't get hyperthermia. Please don't spleef myself into lava. That would not be ideal. Are we good? Okay, no hyperthermia, please. Can you cool down a little bit? That's how caves are supposed to work, I'm pretty sure. Okay, no Gru. I know the Minions movie is really in style these days, but I really don't want to meet Gru. Not down here. It scares me. I'm gonna chill down here. According to the wiki, the events last like five to seven minutes, and then new mobs from the event should stop spawning, and hopefully we can head back. Everything will be good. Yep. Okay, hopefully I'm not jumping the gun here, but I've waited a bit. I've slept, brought me back up to full health. I'm feeling great. And I don't see the dudes illuminated up there anymore, so I'm hoping it's been enough time and we can just pop out. It's gonna be all clear, everything... It's gonna be peaceful. Are we good? Nothing Nothing bad? Nothing bad? Oh my god, I've never been so happy to see you, Creeper. I'll take you all day long, rather than all the flying trees and stuff, dude. Please, thank you for being... Oh, that's uh... I think those are actually chill, as intimidating as they look. Okay. Oh, spiders. You guys are so cool, too. Oh, it's so awesome to have you here. Okay. Why? Why? Wait, why? Why? Are they? Are they? They're still? No. They're still? They're still freaking there? Why are they still here? Why the frick are you still here? The frick, frick, frick. I'm, I'm. Why didn't they despawn? Why are they still at the village? I... We'll go back there later. It's okay. I had another thing I wanted to do in the desert anyway, which is uh, go back to the battle tower again. And uh, hey, it's still got chests that have loot, right? They were just locked. But a lot of people reminded me um, that that spawners in RL craft they they expire over time, right? You can't actually farm them. And I was like, oh yeah, no. Now I vaguely remember that. So I might as well just break the remaining zombie spawners in there because they're not gonna last. And then we can go in and loot everything, and, and lockpick. There are a lot of comments about lockpicking. Boy, some of you guys are experts at lockpicking, and... I'm so sorry I haven't watched any lockpicking videos on YouTube. I'm, I, I look like a fool to you. But I don't know anything about it, so I guess I need to watch some. Um, you know, we've run by this thing a few times. Why don't we take a look? What could possibly go wrong with the creeper face thing in the middle of the desert? Actually, I'm gonna get hyperthermia. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I did actually make a bucket. Uh, kind of fortuitous, actually, that I had my iron on me, so, um, hey, you know what? This way we can cool off a bit wherever we need to. Okay, I'm really on fire again. Hold on, let me get some of this. Are we good? Okay, so that's definitely gonna... It's definitely gonna reveal something. Okay, let's take a quick look here. Oh, yeah, I know, I don't know what else I expected. Okay, hi, it's a lot of creepers. <laughs> Wait, what if I, what if I, like, mine in from the back, maybe? And get, like, underground, so it doesn't have to be super duper, uh, toasty and stuff. Wait, what if I do this? What if I do this? Oh, hi guys. Wait, what about, okay, can we, can we take a full look? Wait, can I just, I can just access the chest and be like, peace out. All right, I'll see you guys later. Hey, might as well. Why should I, why should I deal with you guys down there when I can just loot what you got? Is that it? Is that all? Yeah, it's just that chest. There might be more, but eh, no need to push my luck. Okay, so in between this episode and the last one, because I can't show you, because I can't go home right now, I went and I, I killed a bunch of sheep to get mutton so that I could make uh, treats. 
So we need a couple different kinds of treats. We need imp treats. Those are with the mutton, and that allows us to tame afrits, which can, you know, we can summon and they can help fight us when we're going up against other mobs. mobs. And then also insect treats. Again, those are mushrooms, which I collected a lot of mushrooms. There were some in the barrels that are around the village that I hadn't looted, and I also just found some mushrooms on the ground. There was another mushroom-related thing that I wanted to check out, but again, the event fricked all of it up. But we want to make those so that we can tame the Aeropede, which is a mount that we can ride that does spawn in the desert. So at least we have easy access to the desert. So let's just see. Should we should we attempt to just, you know, run it in from the inside? That's a salve, I think. So that can salvage a bit of health. That brings us not quite up to full, but hey, much better. I got to try to conserve my healing, right? Because we can't go back home yet. Uh... All right, let's just dude, let's just rock it, bro. Let's rock it. We cleared the first two already, right? Oh wait, okay. Hold, oh, oh frick, oh frick, oh frick. Okay, the the spawner has spawned 50 million already, so you know what? Maybe, maybe our better bet is just break the thing from the outside. Oh, and it's an infernal too. That's good. Let's. What kind? Of, what kind is that? A we oh Weber quicksand. Oh, good. Okay, well you're dead now. So get wrecked. Not so scary, are you now? <laughs> oh, what the frick? <laughs> Fast boy. Uh, what is? What did he drop? A silver helmet. Silver is actually good, I think, because it like it 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 removes debuffs. It like doesn't allow you to get a bunch of debuffs or something like that. I recall in the video that I watched. So I suppose that's something that we can kind of keep in mind. Ika, Ika, are you nice? You seem nice. You're one of the few things that's actually nice. You like a little slug turtle. You know what? You might not be the cutest thing I've ever seen, but you're not attacking me, and and that's just incredible. I did have a lot of people actually mention, though, that this bobble, the half-hearted broken heart, I guess is like another line of defense when it comes to potentially saving me in the event that I take an otherwise fatal blow. It's almost like having a double undershirt or something, from what I understood. Maybe that was its last hurrah at spawning. Oh, no, it's right there. We still got an infernal in there, though. And then there's one more spawner higher up, I think. So we're not out of the woods yet. And also, God, even once I'm able to clear this thing out, I'm not going to have the inventory space probably to loot all the chests, dude. Oh, hi there. Nope, no, 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 I don't think so. I'm ready to face you guys head on, dude. Let me get, let me get that iron right there, dude. Okay. Okay, oh, Jiminy Christmas. Maybe I'm not ready. Maybe I'm not ready. Maybe I'm not ready for all of them. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. One up, darkness. Did it say cookie or cloak? Choke. Oh, it's a choke. Oh, no, 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 no. Bro, wait. What the frick? What the? What the frick? What the frick? He's dead. Oh my god, dude. What? What? Oh no! He disarms and chokes? Bro, that is actually just nuts, dude. Oh, oh my god, he dropped like everything though. What did I get? What kind of weapon did I just get? A bronze greatsword, which lesser sharpness four? How much damage does this thing do? Only 8.75. Oh, that's kind of lame. And it has like no range. Wait, why does this thing suck? This thing kind of sucks though. For something with sh lesser sharpness for yo i just dealt with a choke zombie and i crushed it Whew, that was nerve-wracking after getting disarmed though i mean oh my god you can't you can't do me like that oh geez where's the thing i want the boomerang pickerang it's probably not a pickerang is it well i don't know where that went anyway continuing along <laughs> Oh boy, everything's really out to get me today. Welcome back to RL Craft, everybody. Always good after a couple days off to get back into average. Freaking frick, dude. Leave me alone. It's from the other spawner, I'm sure. Now, oh, okay. Now they're falling down. They're falling down from the upper floors. Everything is great, and I'm going back down again. Yeah, sure, these spawners expire over time because it, I, they seem pretty relentless at the moment, I gotta say. Leave me alone, dude. Leave me alone. I don't know. I probably should have built up and gone for the other spawner. That was probably unwise. Hey, but we're getting a lot of levels, and that's good. Dude, we might actually be able to get up to uh, defense level 16 pretty soon here. 
And then, oh frick, oh frick, oh frick. Ow, ow, and you're behind me? Are you got, where are you spawning? Bro, what? Teleports behind you much? Bro, the other spawner is actually going crazy here. Oh my God. Bro, they like just know to hide right around the corners. What? Wait, hold on, hold on. Maybe it broke? Did it break? Maybe it broke on its own. Maybe that was the last of the zombies. Oh, and this is our, okay. Huh, wait, that's not as many locks as I actually thought. Yo, look at this. Double diamond swords. Actually, diamond swords, actually, uh, they're probably not even that exciting for us at this point because we want the we want the fancier, cooler weapons. This bronze greatsword kind of sucked. People were telling me to make an atlas, so this is really, this is good. This is something that we did use last time when I was playing with Zine. I think, like, as you go around, it loads in, and you can use it in order to sort of figure out where you're at in the thing because, you know, everything else is made to be more difficult. What do we have down here, though? Hey, this one's not locked. Yo, slime is good. Slime is very good for us. We can use it to make the liners for our armor. Oh my God, it's still, wait, these are all open. Was everything this open before? I, I, I don't remember it being this way, but I'm not complaining. Mushrooms are good. Again, we need them for the treats. And then, all right, we need to lock pick this thing. Okay, are you guys ready? I'm gonna crush this. You're gonna see I've, I've become the world's greatest lock picker since last time. Here we go. All right. Oh, it's only three. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Do we do two or do we do three? Two or three? Two or three? <gasps> Bro, is it just a one, two, three? That's what I'm talking about, dude. I might have not needed to even watch all the videos and stuff. I'm just... It's absolutely sick at lockpicking, bro. I, just insane. You've never seen lockpicking like I lockpick. Hold on, I think there was one more locked down below. Yes, yes there was. What do we have here? Okay, well, here's where, uh, here's where a little bit more skill is gonna come into play. Okay, uh, which one are we gonna start off with? Ooh, this is a big boy. No. Frick! Um... Frick. Yes. Mother of truck. One. Two, five, one, three, seven. Yes. Let's go. First try. Come on. What do we got in here? A bunch of Pretty unexciting things. I think I got most of the things that seemed worth taking. I'll take one diamond sword, just in case. And then, thank goodness I have my crate for a little bit extra space. I think we're good. <sighs> okay, let me try to head home again. I'm gonna assume, because nothing's ever nice to you in RL Craft, that they're all still gonna be there. And, uh... I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Yep, oh, they're definitely there. They're definitely there. And I am, I'm leaving, I'm going. Can you, holy mother of frick, leave me alone, you freaking tea pumpkin. Yeah, I think not. Get demolished, dude. Get freaking demolished. Okay, that does like no damage. You have a lot of health. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna leave. Okay, so if I run away far enough and unload the chunks by running rather than using the waystone, then maybe that will be the key to getting everything to go away because there's no new mobs over in this area. They haven't spawned over here. So, hey, oh, it's so good to see you. Ooh, people were reminding me that you need a Jangu and an Aegis on a summoning staff. And then you can, they'll, they'll spawn combined together and you'll get a Nymph. Thank you, Nymph. I so very much appreciate it. And, ow. Uh-oh, okay, there is a big boy over there still. But maybe that's the only one left be- oh, oh, nope, there's the other dude over there. Hold on. I wonder if I can- It's got a hundred and fifteen. Good lord, it's got a lot of health. Done! Come on! Actually, how many mushrooms was that? Because, as I said, I do need mushrooms. Only four. Oh. Okay. There's still some of the spriggins up in the air, but I guess as far as the ground ones go, the pumpkin and the the other dudes, it's not quite as bad right now. Oh no, there's there's still a big boy over there. Good. Oh my god, dude. Right, I'm gonna make a dive. I'm gonna make a dive into my house. There's not much I can do now, right? I just gotta I just gotta live with this, I think. It can't get in, right? If I 
if I do this. But the little guys, they can de- Oh, oh, hey, we got an Aegis. We got an Aegis. Dude, can you help me out here? This- Oh. Uh, it's gone. Cool. Thanks. You, uh, the Aegis scared him away. Cool. No, everything's- uh, There was nothing to be afraid of here at all. Oh, all right. We made it. We're good. Hey, now we're where the start of the episode was gonna be more or less, um, minus we got the battle tower chest, so. Um, but hey, I bet you I can get up to 16 and I can wear diamond armor now. Wait. Is that, wait, was there a man's? I thought, was there? Oh no, we're good. I just thought there was a man, it was one of the Maccas, I guess. We're defense 16. I'm gonna make a diamond chest plate, bro. Let's let's go. Let's go. Also, though, we do need to do like summoning staff and some of that stuff, because um, I, I want to start getting into that. Okay, so since last time, like I said, I was able to get a bunch of sheep. So I have a bunch of mutton that I was cooking slash can cook. There we go. There's some, and then we've also that didn't cook because I was smelting iron. Good job. I'm doing great. Let me just stick one in there to bother people that are using an entire coal for a single raw mutton because the others were perfectly 16 and 16. So this will give us a decent amount of imp treats that we're able to make. And then we also got a lot of wool as a result, which I can either use to make more bandages or I can use them in order to trade with the villagers with string and all that stuff. But while I was out actually, and uh, collecting mushrooms as well, I found that our village actually has uh, a vineyard, which again, in that video that I watched, was something highly recommended to, to go harvest and stock up on grapes. Yeah, right over here. All right, so we got this vineyard and we can harvest all these grapes in here. So I assume they'll keep growing back. I don't know for sure because I haven't harvested them yet, but we'll keep checking back and assuming they do grow back over time then we'll want to keep hitting this up. Probably, you know, in between episodes, I'll come over and, and keep stocking up. There's a lot of grapes actually to go around. Okay, can confirm they grow back because <laughs> some of the ones that I've definitely harvested so far are popping back up. So, hey, we've got a pretty good supply of grapes if they're growing back already within the time that I'm harvesting what we have here. And again, hyperthermia. Okay, so the other thing that I saw over here was I saw some mushrooms in this interesting like dock area. Hey, you don't get mad at me if I'm not sprinting, do you now? Are you blind emotion or something like that? And get wrecked. Yeah, no, that's what you get for intimidating me so early on in the series. I don't appreciate that. I was just getting my bearings and learning things and you were like, I'm gonna attack him. Okay, so there's this little like mushroom village. It looks really cute, but also I was worried that if I break these mushrooms up here, that maybe like the mushroom village will get mad or something. So I just figured it would be better to do once I'm already on stream, please, I'm so sorry, you guys, if I'm like... Wait, yeah, there actually are the... Wait, the pixies? Why do I remember the pixies being, like, really mean and, and terrible things? Oh, there we go, we got some mushrooms. Wait, oh, God, oh, Jesus, okay, something's in here and not... What the f... Ow, ow, oh, oh I'm, I'm, I don't want that. Okay, cool. Everything just has to blind you or do... It can't just attack you normally. It has to attack you, like extra badly. Okay, the pixies are probably actually gonna get like really mad at me though. I wouldn't be surprised because I remember them being really annoying for some reason. <laughs> hey, you know, why don't I just go back home and make a diamond chest plate? Oh, yo, I can get a, uh, I'm pretty sure I can get experience from like breaking, yeah, 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 yeah. This is actually a really good way to get experience, people were saying, and frick, not like this. God dang it, everything wants to kill me all the time. That was what, a freaking spriggin, dude. One of the freaking spriggins from the event. It get wrecked. God dang, dude. <laughs> I can't believe this. Okay, I mean, there's there's more plants to harvest, but this is good. Got us up to 19. And I, I think the next thing I want to focus on, whether or not it's the correct choice, is getting myself to be able to enchant. So, you know, baked potatoes could be a good food source for us. And look at that. Oh, look at that. 33. Plus how many we had in here. Oh, that's a lot of imp treats. Yo, that's big. That's big. Very ready to be protected. Now all I have to hope for is it's not terrible quality. Okay. Be good. Hey, extra armor in exchange for speed. I'll, I'll take it every time. I'll take it every time. Yo, give me this. Cover me with diamonds. And then a, a helmet, too. Yeah, I actually probably should have prioritized the helmet. 
but that's fine. And then here we go, we'll have a little bit left over. I want, well, we're not gonna be able to use any offensive weapons with diamond yet. Be good, be good. Nothing is better than things that, that have negative effects, so I'll take it. Let's see what we have to do in order to be able to enchant. I think it was like magic level 12, if I remember correctly. Yeah, magic 12. All right, why don't we look into that, see how close we can get. One away. So close. There's a few things we need to do now with Lycanite's mobs. We need to make the summoning staff, and then we also need to make some of these soul gazers so that we can learn about mobs by clicking on them rather than necessarily having to kill them. Or we could just kill them, but some are pretty rare. Like, we haven't run into an Aeropede yet. So, actually, maybe it's going to be more useful to put our diamonds to use doing this instead. And it's another reason that you do want to collect a lot of bones is for this, as well as the imp treats and stuff that you have to make. So let's do, let's do the summoning staff. Thank goodness that we got some ender pearls here. And now we got one of those. I guess it's not as powerful as it used to be in previous RL craft versions before 2.9. And then I guess we can make a soul gazer. And it's kind of all we have room for right now. But this gives us an opportunity to, we can try to learn about either the Jangu or the, and maybe even the Aegis, so that we can get up to knowledge level two and that'll like get close to being able to, or I want to use it on the Aeropede maybe, maybe as, a, as a mount. It's hard to know like which I should do first. Yo, I could try to tackle a cave. That would get me more experience and get me to magic level 12. Maybe go mining. Wait, you're telling me there was a blacksmith the whole time next to my house and I didn't realize. And there's an anvil already made. There's a there's a shield. There we go. I, I put a shield to use. So I think here though in our L-Craft, the way that it works is it'll be deactivated when it's hit. So it's not gonna be like super great, but it's probably still good to have. Right, I forgot about the two-handed thing. If I have a shield, then it makes my pike and the iron war hammer kind of suck. Maybe let's make a mine, dude. Let's make a mine. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing. I found a cave, which is a little scary and slightly more dangerous than just going strip mining all the way. But you know what? Feeling good about where we're at, you know? Definitely, is that something down? Oh, is that a little enchanty skeleton down there, huh? All right, that was a good spot before we drop down. This is definitely a good idea. Okay, cool, wait, oh, frick, frick, oh God, okay. Please no headshot. A common crate. I can't open it. Can I break it? What is that? An iron shovel with magnet. Jesus Christ! Didn't even make a sound! Magnetic and efficiency, but minus just about everything. What a terrible shovel. Not worth getting blown up over. I'm a little bit apprehensive about mining out the ore veins because even though, like, I know that I can take a Geo knock on better with, with a pickaxe instead of using my sword. I can't exactly block it off like I can in a strip mine. So they're just like, I don't know. Do we need to mine the iron here versus taking it on a strip mine? It just doesn't seem entirely necessary. Okay, still, I guess you have to break it. What is that? An ancient fishing rod, river fish, and string. Mmm. Hey, what do you want for dinner tonight? Oh, you know, I was just thinking some river fish. Mm, good choice. Absolutely <laughs> delicious. What is this? Ancient fishing rod requirements. Unusable. Only used for crafting. Huh? Then what's the point of it? Ancient fishing rod. You... Oh, you like can't actually craft a fishing rod. And it goes into making a wooden fishing rod. I see. So you actually like have to... You have to loot it from something. Okay, that makes sense. So we might as well keep it then because we can't make a fishing rod otherwise. There's like no way to know what elevation I'm at. So I just, I don't know if I'm at the right spot to be able to try to find diamonds is the only thing. What is this stuff? What is this? This is, oh, heart crystal shards. Dude, this is big. Actually, this is huge because I'm pretty sure that the heart crystal shards are what the dust makes which gets us even closer to being able to make additional hearts, which is like a super duper ultra goal of ours to have. We want to be able to make um, extra hearts. Looks like there's actually an Aegis, maybe two in that direction. So that's probably, hey, let's go there. Probably a safe place. Maybe they'll uh, keep me 
company and protect me. This is only slightly scary with the whole lava situation, but all is good. Uh, let's see, can we get these? I still don't remember if the heart crystal shards can spawn anything like a Geonock, but eh, so far so good, right? Wait a minute, yo, is that a diamond? Let's go! Our very first mined diamond so far in the... Salamanders are nice, right? I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, I'm not gonna shoot it because if, if they are nice, I'm gonna feel really bad. Are we, okay, no lava, I don't think. Let's get it. Come on, dude. Okay, it's only one. Well, okay, it could have been better, but that's fine. Hey, we need Lapis if we're gonna do any enchanting, so let's grab some of that. Heck yeah. It's not like a regular spawner, I don't think. Is that another, okay, it's another Aegis up there. What is, um, oh, it's one of these ones. Oh, frick, oh, jeez, oh, God. Uh, okay, no, just don't actually know the poison spider. It doesn't even matter, because we have the Bezor. These things drop good loot, usually? Or maybe not? Wait, maybe, wait, it's actually just completely normal, regular loot. Why would I expect RL Craft to give me anything nice when these, the mobs that spawn from those spawners generally do in other mod packs? I mean, that would just be silly now, wouldn't it? Oh, oh well, at least we have more heart crystal shards. We love heart crystal shards. I'll keep picking those up as long as I can. Eight combined with, I don't think we have enough to make a final one. And then we'll actually, uh, if I can find one more though, I think I'll be able to make a full heart for myself. Oh, there we go. One more. Come on. Yo, actually, can I do this down here? Let me see. Heart crystal. How do I make just a heart container? It's just this easy. Increases maximum health. I can increase my maximum health literally right now. Let's actually go up to, well, 11 and a half, even though it shows us 12. But of course, it's not going to actually heal me up to that point. No, I, I have to use a bandage. It's a big accomplishment. We just have to find more of those. Ow, frick. Oh my frick. Oh my G Jiminy Cribmas. Jiminy Cribmas. Jiminy Cribmas. I'm alive? I'm, I'm alive? I'm alive? Oh, I, oh my God. 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 Let's go. Did it? Go back on, are they nice? It's a turtle. Turtles are universally nice, always. There's never been a mean turtle, ever. It just seems that for how important these are in giving you extra hearts, it's been a little too easy mining them. What's that over there? Okay, wait, 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 we got, we got company. We got company. Oh, mother of, oh, mother of God, mother of God. No, frick, frick off, it's done, it's done. That was a freaking grew. There's a freaking group, but then there was also another dude. Oh God, okay, hold on, hold on. Ow, my leg, my leg, it hurts so badly. Oh God, thank goodness leg's not a critical body part and you can still move even if it's totally toast. Oh, what did I get for that? I got an ender pearl and then obsidian. Do I care about the obsidian? Not, not that much. I don't, no, I'm not ready. I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. This, this dude bro, this dude bro is actually, Bro, you cannot, you cannot. I'm, 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 I'm uh, huh, is that an eye vendor? It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool that I got an eye vendor, but um, also I think I need to leave now. Also, chorus fruit, wait, a chorus fruit is really, really good. And I actually want a chorus fruit for, for reasons. And and um, I think I need to, my feet, um, they're in pain. A lot of pain, great deal of pain. Okay, so the question is, do I want to go for those remaining um, heart crystal shards? Uh, it just, yeah. Like I was saying, it just seems like it's been a little too easy. And uh, for that reason, I just feel like there is something bad that can happen. But also, there were there were four over there. Oh, oh, okay. Jiminy, Christmas, and a half. Guys, that has approximately 50,000 million health. That had approximately 300 health? Nope, nope, I'm 
I'm, that's it. That's it. That's it. I'm, 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 I'm alive. How am I alive? I don't know how I'm alive, but um, thank, thank you, everybody, for watching this episode of RL Craft. Hey, can, can I get up to level 12 in magic? I can. I can enchant things. Now, I, I got Lapis and everything, and I'm ready to leave. I'm ready to go. I've never been so happy to see dirt before in my entire life. Hey guys, how's it going? It's so good to see you. You have three health. Hey, I had about three health at one point too. I know how that feels. Hey everybody, thanks so much for tuning into this episode. Um, make sure that you like the video if you're watching on YouTube and uh, subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more. Check the playlist if you've missed any episodes and you want to catch up, it's linked, it's linked in the description. And, hey, can, can you heal me? Thank you so much. And uh, check out msuperhosting.com slash Captain Sparkles if you want to grab yourself a Minecraft server at 25% off your first month. Code Captain Sparkles, link in the description. That's it. I'll see you next time.